Hello, in this problem we have a quadratic equation which I will solve by completing the square. To do that first I need to change the coefficient of the x squared term to 1. So I'll divide everything here by 2. And this becomes x squared plus 7 half x minus 2 is equal to 0. Then I move the 2 to the other side. So I have x squared plus 7 halves x is equal to 2. I change the negative 2 to a positive 2 by moving it to the other side. So what I do here is I take the x term coefficient, I divide it by 2, and then I square it and add it to both sides. So we have 7 halves divided by 2, and this 2, same as 2 over 1. This is equal to 7 halves, and I flip the bottom here, times 1 half. So we get 7 fourths. So 7 halves divided by 2 is 7 fourths. So I take that and I square it, becomes 49 over 16, and I add it to both sides. So these two are equivalent. What we want is a perfect square, so we have x plus a squared. And the 7 fourths is the a. So we have x plus 7 fourths squared is equal to 2 plus 49 over 16. So 2 plus 49 over 16. This is the same as multiplying the 2 across by 16 and the 1, this is the same as 2 over 1, the 1 across by 49. This comes out to be 32 plus 49 over 16, which comes out to 81 over 16. So we have 81 over 16. So now, the, to isolate the x, first we uh, take the square root of both sides. This is x plus 7 fourths is equal to plus or minus square root of 81 over 16. Bring it up here. X is equal to, moving the 7 fourths to the other side, negative 7 fourths plus and minus the square root of 81 over 16, which is 9 over 4. So we have X is equal to minus 7 plus 9 over 4 7 over 4 plus 9 over 4 which is equal to 2 over 4 which is equal to 1 half and we have x is equal to negative 7 fourths minus 9 fourths is equal to negative 16 over 4, which is equal to negative 4. So we have x is equal to 1 half, and x is equal to negative 4. So this is the solution. Thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe.